what's up guys and welcome to today's video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can get a us account a uk bank account a pound account canadian dollar account using wise and i'll also be showing you how you can verify this account so Okay, so let me just go to my screen here. So in today's video, you're going to get your account, you're going to get a British pound account, you're going to get a dollar account, an Australian dollar account, you're also going to get a Canadian dollar account. And all this will be provided for you using WISE, okay? I'll also show you how you can receive, how you can send money, and also how you can verify your WISE account. So without more further ado, let's go around the video. If this is your first time watching my video it's up to the channel will go a long way so all these accounts you can use it to receive money okay from anywhere in the world okay? and also guys i'll also be showing you how you can verify your wise account okay so first things first okay so i want you to head over to converted.com forward slash wise i repeat converted.com forward slash wise okay so you're going to be redirected to this page okay so the link will also be in the description below so use my link to register so what i want to do i want you to just enter your email okay so i'm just going to enter my email now so just enter your email right use your real email okay so i'm going to show you guys how you can also create a how you can get a company account a company us pounds account I'll also show you guys how you can verify but for the purpose of this video, we're going to be working with a personal account, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So I want you to select personal account. I'll later show you guys how to create a business account with WISE, okay? You can get a US bank account for your business. We're going to select. So one thing I like about WISE because WISE work with most of the countries, right? So anywhere, so you just select any one of these countries okay and or you can just search for your country you can just search for your country then select it so i'm going to select nigeria right so what you're going to do now you require to put your mobile number so just put your mobile number then click on on put your mobile number then you click on send verification so once that is done you'll be required to set your password okay guys so i'm already registered on why so i don't need to put my mobile number because i'm already registered on wise right so once that is done so you'll be redirected to your wise dashboard so next thing now is to verify so let's say you have created the wise account but wise is asking you to verify before they can give you your bank details right so as you can see my account is fully verified i've done transactions with dollars euros and pounds okay and i'm not having any issues with them also wise are also giving me my bank account to use to receive money as you can see this is my us bank account i can use to receive um they also give me euro pounds even canadian dollars right so let's just go to canadian dollars so you're going to have all these informations to receive money and if your account is not verified you cannot receive money with all these accounts why it won't even give you this account okay so i'll be showing you how you can um verify your wise account okay if you have not yet created the wise account just head over to convert it just come for slash wise okay to create your wise account okay so wise will give you us bank wise will give you over um over 50 currencies right so not only just this bank you're going to get other banks to receive money so let's say you have a job or you have an employee who wants to make a payment to you and he asks you for your us bank account or your british pounds bank account so just tell them yes you have then you log into your wise account and send it to them so they'll make the payment and fine you get your money in your wise and you can use wise to receive payment right if this is your first time watching my video it's up to the channel will go a long way okay. if you have any question let me know in the comment section so in this video i'll be showing you how you can verify send okay so we're going to use this account right so let's use this account so as you can see this account is not verified this wise account is not verified so when i try to get the bank details right so this this is what comes up it's asking me to verify my identity and make a deposit so this is where so many people find it difficult okay this is where so many people find it difficult in verifying their wise account so because wise will wise will reject most of the cards and it's very difficult to make a deposit so if you are finding it difficult making a deposit 
I'll say you should watch this video, just continue watching this video. Or head over to combat.com forward slash withdraw. You'll be directed to me. I will help you make a deposit to verify your account. So let's continue. First and foremost, I want you to first verify your identity. Upload your ID card, your government ID card, and a utility bill or a bank statement, right? So that's the first thing I want you to do. Once you have done that, okay, then you head over to combat.com forward slash withdraw. You'll be directed to me. Let me know that you want to verify your eyes and I'll help you verify your eyes or just continue watching this video. If this is your first time watching my video. It's up to the channel. We'll go along with So I select get account details, right? So you are telling me to make a deposit, right? And obviously I can't make a deposit because wise will reject my card. Okay. So if you have someone that has a wise account, the person can actually help you. So I already have a wise account. So just Head over to convert to the comfort slash video. I'm going to help you. Okay. So this is what we're going to do now. So this is what we're going to do. So let's head over to my wise account. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. So we're going to go to um we're going to select the, the US dollars. We're going to select send. So we're going to send 22. And select continue. So we're going to enter the email address. Okay, so we're getting this error. We couldn't find so so and so. Okay, so let's go back to the account. So let's go to cancel. Um, we go to settings. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. So we we'll go to contact on wise, we we'll go to settings, we we'll navigate to settings, we we'll navigate to contact on wise, we we'll go to people on wise can find you by email. So we're just going to check mark this. We're also going to check mark the phone number, right? So once that is done, we'll go back to home page. So I'm trying to verify this account. This is what I want you to do. So let's go to my wise account. Let's just enter it again. Let's just refresh this page. So let's put the email address again. Fine, it's coming up. Okay. as you can see there is no fee so we're going to confirm and we're going to send so it's prompting me to enter my password which to... so it's also requesting I approve the transfer on my app so let me quickly do that So it's approved. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Okay, so it's done. It's done. So let's go back to the accounts now. So as you can see, this account did not have a US dollar account. So it didn't have US dollar. It didn't have it didn't have any bank accounts, right? Because it's asking us to make a deposit. So this is where so many people are being stuck because they cannot make a deposit. Head over to converting.com. I'm going to help you make that deposit, right? And your account will be verified. So let's go to US dollars now. Let's try and get our account. So guys, are you seeing? This is awesome, guys. This is awesome. We have our bank accounts ready. And you can use this account um, information to receive money from anywhere in the world. As for the US dollars, you can use it to receive dollars from anybody and from anywhere in the world. Okay, so let's just check other accounts, right? So as you can see, our British pounds was not working. So let's check our British pounds. So let's check this. So as you can see, everything is active now. We can use this um, to receive money from um, anybody in UK, right? Anybody in UK or anybody sending pounds to you. The person may not necessarily be in UK. 
as long as the person wants to send pounds to you just send your account number to them and receive your pounds in your wide account so this is how you can verify your wise account and um get this account details right if you find my video helpful guys please it's up to the channel we go a long way or if if you know someone that's having these issues right, you can share the video right or you can um just like the video right? if you like this video youtube will show it to more people okay so guys why am i showing you guys this because you know i normally make paper um, videos on paper all right so so many people are having issues with paper so why is this an alternative to paper right so why is this an alternative to paper I've, I've been using white for some time and they've not given me any issues in fact like why is this cheaper their fees are better the, you can do with multiple currency wise gives you a bank account that you can use to receive and mind you you can also link your wise account to your paypal account you can link you can link your wise to your pioneer you can do a lot of things with your wise account so i recommend you to go and go ahead and open a wise account if you don't have a wise account just able to convert to this comfort slash wise you'll be directed to the login page use my link i will appreciate okay um also, if you are finding it difficult verifying your WISE account, right? So, head over to convert.com forward slash withdraw, right? So, I'm going to help you verify your WISE account. And also, if you have some money in your WISE account and you want to trade it, okay? You want to exchange it for your local currency or crypto or Naira, just head over to convert.com forward slash WISE. Sorry, head over to convert.com forward slash withdraw. Let me know that you have some WISE, okay? some wise dollars or some money in your wise that you like to convert it to your local currency okay so i'm going to help you trade it for you and um pay you your local currency okay if you have any question let me know in the comment section so guys that's how you can send money okay so i want to show you guys now i'm going to be showing you how you can send us dollars uk pounds okay from your wise account and you can send it to another us bank or another uk bank account okay so let's say this is my account i have a transaction i have some balance right now on and i want to send it so i just head over to my account select the currency that i want to send i'll navigate to send and click on send so well I'll enter the amount that we want to send let's say 50. I click on continue so we're just going to skip this one send to somebody else right so i know their bank details we're going to select this option i know their bank details you enter their email address then if it's a ach payment you enter the account name enter their ach routing number their account number you select checking or saving then click on confirm so this is how you can do a us transaction right if you want it to be a wire transfer but you attract a fees which why is it showing us here 12 to 20 dollars fee okay so it's the same thing you enter the routing you enter the account number select checking or saving um you select the country address you click and confirm you also want it to be a swift payment it's the same thing okay but the best payment is ACH so just work with ACH okay so that's how you can send money to someone using WISE okay so if the person is on WISE you can just easily put the person's email address right and send the money to the person and WISE will deliver the payment so that's how easy you can send money okay and it doesn't work for only US dollars you can also send euro you can send um British pounds right so you just select the currency you click on send so guys wise is lovely I've been using wise and I've not had any issues with them their verification process is seamless right it's it's amazing and they are not as troublesome as paper right so you can send to someone else you can send to a business right so you select I know their bank you select the name you select the Put in the number and you confirm right outside of euro is the same thing so guys that is how you can send so head over to compatible the comfort slash withdraw if you want to verify your wise account also if you want to withdraw from your wise account head over to convert to the comfort slash withdraw just let me know you want to withdraw or you want to verify and i'll help you okay so we're going to select send right so i'm sending this money out of this account now Okay, we're going to select the same currency. We're going to click on continue. Just cancel this. We're going to select me. 
and uh, we're going to select confirm if you are still watching this video up to now i want to say a very very big congratulations you have learned how to open a wise account you have learned how to get a uk bank account sorry a us bank account a uk bank account euro bank account australian dollar bank account right so if you have any employee or any job or any clients in any of these countries right and they want to make a payment to you tell them it's fine that you have a bank account so you just forward your bank account like you normally do with your local currency right just forward it to them to make the payments then it's going to arrive in your wise account okay so that's how you can get all this account and it works fluently like I've not had any issues with using wise so far so good okay so i recommend you should go and open this so you have all this account also if you have done this so the step is to verify okay so guys i want you guys to go ahead submit your your id submit your bank statement or submit your utility be verify with them um once you're verified then you want to make a deposit just go ahead if you have a us card just use your us card to make a deposit and you're fine if you are finding it difficult to make a deposit, head over to convertit.com forward slash withdraw. You'll be directed to me. Let me just know you want to make a deposit, right? So I'm going to help you make a deposit and I'm going to make sure you get your um your bank account for all these um countries, right? So you can be able to receive payments. Okay, so why is this like an alternative to PayPal but better? Okay, because why it gives you more options. You can also link wise to your um to other payments sites like paypal stripes um pay you now you can link your wise us bank account and also withdraw directly from there to your wise account so that's another good thing about wise if you find this video helpful guys it's up to the channel a like share will go a long way okay so i'll really appreciate if you like the video subscribe and share okay if you have any question let me know in the comment section below so i'm going to be sharing you how you can get a US bank account, a UK bank account, and Euro bank accounts for your business. Yes, if you have a registered business anywhere in the world, you can get a US bank account for your business, right? So I'll be showing you how you can get that. And all this is possible through WISE, okay? So we're going to create a business WISE account, which will give us um a business uk accounts us bank accounts so on and so forth okay I'll also be showing you how you can verify your business wise account to get this account number first things first i want you to use the link use my link converted.com forward slash wise the link will also be in the description below okay so just use the link you'll be directed to this page i want you to put your email right so So just put your email put your real email or you can put your business email so in this in this next step they'll ask you what kind of account would you like to open today so i want you to select the business account right select the business account so i want you to also select your country you can just search for your country right so why is why it has a um lots of country that they are currently working with. so just select your country right so click on continue so i'm just going to change this number right just change this number so any country just select the drop down code put in your um phone number right then you click on send verification code so once you enter the verification code you go to password right you, you select your password and you're gone so you'll be directed to your dashboard i already done that so i won't be doing that here okay so so this is how it's going to look like okay so we need to verify so why is it ask you to verify i'm showing you how you can verify your business wise account okay so if you verify your business wise account you are you will get um a u.s business bank account um a british pounds bank account euro bank account right so right now um this is my account and when I click on US dollar, right? So it asks me to verify, right? So I continue. So why don't we make a small transfer to your US bank account, right? So you first have to you first have to get a personal wise account before you can get a business wise account. 
So how you can verify your business? Why is it ask you for your documents, right? So I want you guys to go ahead and submit your business documents, right? Um, so once you have done that, okay, so why is you select the, um, why is it also ask you to make a payment to your business account to get your account details, okay? So my, in this case, for the case of this video, I selected transfer. So why is it make a deposit to my US bank account, then, we be required to put in the amount wise sent. So once we put in the amount wise sent, wise will be able to make the payment. So which I have just done now. So just saying it's gonna take um three to five working days. Alright guys, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give this video a thumbs down. But let me know the reason in the comment section below. See you guys in my next video. Yeah.